Welcome to Travel Life Channel. In this video, we are going to explore the magnificent city of Krakow, Poland. Get ready to embark on a virtual journey through one of Europe's most captivating destinations. Krakow served as Poland's economic and political center and a crucial commercial hub for goods between England and Hungary throughout the entire 14th century. The Jagiellonian University, one of its primary remaining medieval structures, serves as evidence that it simultaneously developed into the country's intellectual and cultural center. Krakow. The old Polish capital city and seat of Polish kings is more spectacular today than it has ever been. The metropolis built by the legendary Krak is surprisingly simple to explore and is located on the renowned river Vistula. In this video, let us check out Krakow's top attractions and most loved tourist places. The Barbican and St. Florian's Gate the Barbican and St. Florian's Gate are historic structures that guard the city's treasures and enchant visitors with their timeless elegance. They stand as beautiful sentinels at the entrance of Krakow's old town. Let's set out on a quest to investigate these two amazing locations and learn the stories they offer. The Barbican, a mighty fortress. As you approach the impressive Barbican, a well-preserved stronghold that formerly played a critical defense role for Krakow, picture yourself being taken back in time to the Middle Ages. This circular stronghold was part of a system of fortifications constructed in the 15th century to defend the city from potential enemies. You are surrounded by the echoes of history as soon as you enter the Barbican's substantial walls. Consider its amazing design, which includes a network of interconnecting chambers, embrasures, and arrow holes. The Barbican's architecture is stunning in every way. Its large facade, made of brick and stone and combining Gothic and Renaissance elements, is evidence of the high caliber of the period's craftsmanship. It serves as a reminder of the strategic significance of fortifications in the medieval era, from its towering aspect to the exquisite features. St. Florian's Gate, the Gateway to Krakow A spectacular Gothic tower that functioned as the city's principal entrance is located just outside the Barbican. This gate, which was named after the patron saint of firefighters, has grown to be one of Krakow's most recognizable landmarks and a popular gathering spot for both locals and tourists. As you get closer to St. Florian's Gate, You'll notice its impressive red brick facade and tower reaching upward. Observe the beautiful statue of St. Florian, which stands erect atop the gate and offers blessings and protection to those who pass through it, as well as the elaborate brickwork. The Barbican and St. Florian's gate function as entrances to Krakow's soul, luring you in to explore the city's rich cultural and historical heritage. They protect the myths and legends of the past, and act as keepers of history. The Old Town, which is first on the list of must-see locations can be reached from the main station in just 15 minutes if you are arriving by train. You'll be in a whole different world once you walk through the Barbican and St. Florian's Gate, the historic center of Krakow, which remarkably escaped the war's destruction. Every one of these classy, elegant buildings has a tale to tell. The Wall Castle Wall Royal Castle is a wonderful sight to spend some time. The state rooms, with their elaborate furnishings and lovely Flemish tapestries, are a sight to behold. It's hard to imagine that these spaces were originally used as military barracks. With their magnificent swords decorated with jewels among the countless riches on exhibit, the treasury and armory display all the grandeur of bygone ages. With its numerous chapels and tombs embellished with sculptures and stained glass, the neighboring wall cathedral is especially stunning. The most well-known of these is the Mausoleum of St. Stanislas, an imposing building where monarchs have previously been crowned. This magnificent enclave defines Poles' identities and serves as a national and cultural emblem. Wall used to be the seat of Polish rulers, their necropolis, and the birthplace of Polish history. There are several ways you can visit this magnificent castle. There is a lot to discover, including the state rooms, crown treasury, and royal apartments. To prevent last-minute snarls, plan and reserve your tickets before visiting this royal palace. Wall Cathedral, on the south side of Krakow's old town. The Wall Cathedral is located in the center of the Royal Palace and Castle Complex. Its interior is filled with the rich artistic flair of Renaissance era, making it one of the most exquisite examples of medieval Polish cathedral construction. If there were a structure that could be considered to represent the history of Polish Christianity and national identity, it would be this one. It is both a palimpsest of Catholic iconography throughout Polish history and a sort of modern-day nationalistic sepulchre. There is proof that smaller Romanesque Christian buildings decorated the location on top of the Wall Hill from as early as the 9th century, possibly even before the current cathedral's edifice was completed in 1346. The current building is the result of about 800 years' worth of numerous building initiatives that extended and embellished the initial structure, a triple-ailed basilica in the Gothic medieval style. 
The multiple dome chapels, each topped with a different bronze-colored roof, are the product of construction efforts supported by several bishops beginning in the 15th century that permanently altered the building's exterior. There are probably not many blatantly medieval structures that can boast of such a changing appearance over time when looking inside. The Wall Cathedral is praised by many art historians as the best example of the Italian Renaissance outside of Southern Europe. Once inside the cathedral, the nave, chancel, and ambulatory become a maze of sarcophagi, tombstones, and altar pieces. Highlights include the Holy Cross Chapel, which stands out for its Byzantine murals from the 15th century and its red marble tomb, and the tomb of St. Queen Hedwig, which is located close by and honors an adored and modest 14th century monarch. The flamboyant Baroque Shrine of St. Stanislaus, which is devoted to the Bishop of Krakow who was declared canonized in 1253 and is now the patron saint of Poland, is located in the middle of the cathedral. The cathedral itself has entry for free. However, a combo ticket grants access to the Wall Cathedral Museum, the Royal Crypts, and the Sigismund Bell. The Krakow Main Square The Krakow Main Square is Europe's largest medieval square. Stop at the main market square in the old town to inhale the fragrant scents emanating from Krakow's renowned flower vendors. While the sound of the horse-drawn carriage's familiar clip-clopping passes you by, it is worthwhile to explore both during the day and at night, when you can take advantage of its vibrant ambience and enticing open-air bars and eateries. The cloth hall and the structures that surround the area are attractively illuminated at night. Many people believe it to be one of Krakow's most charming neighborhoods. The Cloth Hall, one of Krakow's most recognized landmarks. The Cloth Hall stands in the center of the square. It was a buzzing market stall when it first opened as a kind of shopping center in the 13th century. Later, it was renovated in the Renaissance style and utilized as a significant global trading hub. Treat yourself to some amber and silver items, artwork, or even miniatures of the distinctive Krakow-style nativity scenes in the market square. The Town Hall Tower one of the city's most recognizable icons and an important part of Krakow's history is the Town Hall Tower, the 110 steps leading up to the attraction's main entrance, which is guarded by two stone lions, can be seen by visitors. The first floor of the Town Hall Tower has some of the city's most enchanting Gothic architecture. The original clock tower's mechanism and a collection of historical photographs documenting the development of the city are housed on the upper levels which can only be reached by climbing the steep stairs. So, it is not recommended for the elderly or children. The tower's underground area was home to two very different institutions. One was the renowned Widnica cellar, which served a wide selection of beer and wine. The other one was the torture room, or Tortornia, where the executioner and his henchmen enabled criminals and wrongdoers to jog their memories, was next to it and was divided from it by a partition. It was the most horrifying sight in the entire city. Their gruesome torture devices are still on display in the house of Jan Maitko, a division of the National Museum in Krakow. From the top of the tower, visitors can get a clear view of Krakow's main square, Cloth Hall, St. Mary's Church or Wall Castle. St. Mary's Basilica One of Poland's and Krakow's most well-known landmarks is St. Mary's Basilica, which is located on one of the sides of Main Market Square, was built in the Gothic style in the 14th century. It is currently one of Krakow's most popular tourist destinations. The Gothic St. Mary's Church is a lavishly decorated church that will leave even the most seasoned traveler speechless. The remains of a medieval Romanesque church served as the foundation for the construction of St. Mary's Basilica, which got started in the late 13th century. Around 1320, St. Mary's Church, a new building, was dedicated. It has undergone several exterior and interior restorations over the years. The multifaceted architectural form resembles the Church of the Holy Sepulchre in Jerusalem and is capped with an open work tower. A 12-meter-long wooden altarpiece made by the artist Fate Stoss, dating back to the 15th century, is one of the highlights of this basilica. It is the largest in Europe and features more than 15 carved figures. Beautiful city views can be seen from the deck. Every hour, the St. Mary's Church Tower plays the well-known St. Mary's Bugle Call. At first, the bugle call was only sounded at noon, precisely marking 12 o'clock. Visitors can ascend to the Hednalica Tower's observation deck throughout the summer. Booking your slots in advance will help you escape the disappointment of seeing sold-out notifications because this historical attraction is well-liked by travelers. In this gorgeous and royal city, one can also visit other, equally fascinating cathedrals and synagogues. Museums of Krakow Some of Poland's finest and most valuable museums can be found in Krakow. Among the museums that can be visited during a longer stay in Krakow are the National Museum in Wall, the Jagiellonian University Museum, the Jewish Museum, Oskar Skindler's Factory, and the Reinach Underground Museum. The Krakow National Museum is popularly known as MNK, 
It was founded in 1879 and serves as the headquarters for Poland's National Museum, which also has numerous other independent branches across Poland. The National Museum's main building is home to three permanent exhibitions. The Gallery of the 20th Century Polish Art, the largest exhibition of its sort in Poland, is unquestionably the most fascinating. It includes works of art created by members of the modernist Young Poland movement during the first decade of the 20th century. The collection of paintings by Wykasy is outstanding and there are several stained glass designs, including those for Wall Cathedral by Stanislaw Wyspiewski. Olga Boznaska and Jacek Melksuski are also prominently featured here. Rynek Underground Museum A secret universe is hiding beneath the busy streets of Krakow's main market square and is just waiting to be discovered. The Rynek Underground Museum is a time-traveling experience that reveals the mysteries and tales of Krakow's colorful past. As you enter this underground wonderland, get ready to be astounded by the inventive displays and fascinating stories that bring history to life. You'll experience a feeling of eagerness and interest as you make your way deeper into the Rynek Underground Museum modern technology, and the historic artifacts unearthed during the excavation are harmoniously incorporated into the museum's cutting-edge design. You are immersed in a medieval setting thanks to the dimly lighted hallways, cobblestone streets, and interactive exhibits. Exploring the exhibitions will take you on a wonderful journey as you learn more about Krakow's past. Each aspect of the museum offers a distinctive look into the bygone ages that molded this extraordinary city, from the beginnings of the main market square to the medieval commerce routes and the city's rich cultural legacy. When you leave the Rynek Underground Museum, you'll have a deeper understanding of Krakow's rich history. You can view the main market square and it surrounds from a new angle if you are well informed and have a greater understanding of the city's past. The museum acts as a point of entry, bridging the gap between the past and present and enabling you to fully understand Krakow's rich cultural tapestry. It's advisable to wear jackets because the museum is underground and can be cooler than the outside. This museum with wheelchair and stroller accessibility facilities is open on all days of the week. However, it is closed on the second Monday of the month. The Sukienis Museum in Krakow, also known as the 19th Century Polish Art Gallery, holds one of the country's largest collections of 19th century art. This museum features portraits, war scenes, still life, mythical subjects, religious art, landscapes, and sculptures. Leading Polish artists from the mid-18th through the early 20th centuries produced these pieces. Baroque, Rococo, Realism, Romanticism, and Impressionism are some examples of artistic styles. The 200 works of art you will see here represent a small portion of the 780,000 item collection kept by the National Museum of Krakow. The Leech Salt Mine Beneath the charming city of Krakow lies a breathtaking world carved out of salt, a testament to human ingenuity and a treasure trove of natural wonders. The Vilich Salt Mine has been a popular tourist destination since 1722 and is located about 14 kilometers southeast of Krakow. It is one of the world's few mining sites that has been in continuous operation since the Middle Ages, attracting approximately a million tourists per year. We may wonder at the natural embellishments in the historical chambers which are located at depths of between 64 and 135 meters and are connected by about 2 kilometers of passages. A small portion of the 300-mile-long underground maze of tunnels and chambers, the deepest of which is 327 meters below the earth. It is accessible to the public on two-hour guided tours. While returning tourists can choose a more immersive miner's route, first-time visitors typically follow the usual tourist route past the major attractions. There are chapels with altar pieces and figures among the salt-hewn structures. Other ones are embellished with statues and monuments. The enormous hall that contains the ornate chapel of St. Kinga serves as the tour's centerpiece. From the altar pieces to the chandeliers, everything in this place is made of salt. The tour lasts around two hours, and visitors are led in groups. Wear comfortable shoes because you will be walking two kilometers through the mine. The Krakow Salt Works Museum tour lasts an additional hour and is included in your entry ticket. It is located in 14 chambers on the third level of the mine where the normal tour ends. This fabulous mine was added to the original list of UNESCO World Heritage Sites in 1978. The Vilich Salt Mine is a testament to the indomitable spirit of human endeavor and an underground wonder that leaves visitors spellbound. It invites you to explore its vast chambers, witness awe-inspiring salt sculptures, and immerse yourself in a subterranean world brimming with history and natural beauty. Casimir's District Krakow's Casimir's District is a captivating blend of history, culture, and artistic expression. Its streets are imbued with the echoes of the past, inviting visitors to explore its Jewish heritage and witness the district's vibrant transformation into a cultural and artistic hub. From the charming synagogues to the vibrant street art, the culinary delights to the lively nightlife, Casimir's has long been a melting pot of different cultures, 
with its roots dating back to the 14th century. Historically, it was the center of Jewish life in Krakow, and remnants of this rich heritage can still be seen today. As you wander through the district, you'll encounter beautifully preserved synagogues, such as the Old Synagogue and Ramah Synagogue, standing as testament to the vibrant Jewish community that once thrived here. Beyond its Jewish legacy, Casimir's has become a haven for artists, bohemians, and free spirits. The district exudes an air of creativity, with its narrow alleys adorned with colorful street art, independent galleries showcasing contemporary works, and quirky cafes that invite you to relax and soak up the atmosphere. Casimir's is a culinary paradise, offering a wide array of flavors and culinary experiences. From traditional Jewish delicacies to modern fusion cuisine, the district caters to every palate. Sample authentic Jewish dishes like pierogi, challah bread, and matzo ball soup in charming local eateries. As the sun sets, Casimir's truly comes alive with its vibrant nightlife. The district boasts an eclectic mix of bars, pubs, and clubs, each with its own unique atmosphere. The district's nightlife caters to all tastes, making it a popular destination for locals and tourists alike seeking a memorable evening out. You may sign up for one of the daily, free walking tours that allow you to explore the neighborhood with a local guide to make the most of your trip. Remember to make your reservations ahead of time. Combining a trip to Casimir's with a cultural excursion to the Krakow ghetto can also be a smart option. You can see Skindler's factory and learn more about the ghetto's history on one of the available guided tours. Dining and culture in Krakow Krakow is the place to go for everything from cheap milk bars to slow food establishments, food trucks, and fine dining. Krakow, which has been designated the 2019 European Capital of Gastronomic Culture, guarantees to please all palates, particularly those seeking traditional and regional flavors. In terms of entertainment, Krakow is home to numerous establishments and locations that provide a wide range of experiences, from formal to informal. We hope this video was informative and entertaining. Follow us along in our travel journeys by subscribing to our Travel Life channel. Thanks for watching and we will see you soon with another interesting travel destination.